and staying a few yards down that lane. I'm going, I'm going for a local walk, a hill walk. And uh, that's the, and uh, it's, oops, <laughs> yeah, that's surprising. You don't see hardly any traffic on this road. But uh, there's another nice house there. And, uh, yeah. Okay, so it's about a, it's quite an energetic walk. There's a lot of uphill work. A little bit of lane work I just done. It's, I don't know if you, know, you can read that. Y Valley Walk. And uh, supposedly there's a footpath. <laughs> Somewhere through that hedge, can't see it. But uh, as I say, once I gain a little bit of height, that's, that's why I'm doing this walk, is for the views of the Hereford countryside. Can't see that probably footpath. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. One in four, that's what I've just come off. So that's probably the steepest part of this walk. Uh, now, if this is not well trodden, then I, yeah, I might not go up there. I'll just carry on on the lane, rather than, uh, yeah, I can't see any, f yeah, it's not well trodden. So, uh, it's probably okay, but I'll, uh, I'll carry on this lane and go to the top of Murbach Hill up here. See, that's one of the, uh, uh, Arthur's burial mound or burial chamber, supposedly. Uh, on the way back, I'll have a look at that. Gain height. The view's out and out a bit. And it's fairly clear, not completely clear, but it's fairly clear today. And the sun's shining, which is, uh, well, basically it's the most important thing. Now it's still only the 7th of May. So maybe this tree hasn't come out into leaf yet, but if it's an ash tree, then uh, they've, they've, uh, they've caught a disease, ash, a dry, dry back is it? Uh, I forget now, but uh, die back. Uh, anyway, they're all dying off in this country. Uh, okay, that's one thing that isn't dying off, apple trees. And this is uh, cider country here, Herefordshire. So uh, there's an apple orchard there. Sun's still shining. Actually, it's quite getting quite warm now. More like uh, how May should be. Some more of those ash trees. Now, I have an idea. They haven't come out in leaf yet. And there's 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 a nice cottage here, yeah, sandstone. That looks like a typical. Uh, Herefordshire cottage there, hillside cottage. I think I'll take a chance here and go off the, uh, leave the lane and go off here. It looks as though it's trodden and after about half a mile or so this joins up with the official Y Valley walk. In on this footpath which looks nicely trodden, there's another of those orchards with the apple blossom just coming out. That uh, footpath there ends at the gate and we come into a bit of an open sp uh, space here and I presume I carry on going and there's all the bluebells out. Just come up there which is a bit soggy underfoot and uh, there's a tr track going up there but it's, it, uh, but this is where the footpaths were to be going this direction. But. Uh, See if there's a way through. Maybe it goes here. It doesn't look too in promising. Um, I'm looking for signs that. Uh, oh, this looks trodden, but I'll see what happens. Luckily, there was a way through. It was a trodden path. Uh, this looks like the Y Valley. This looks like a trodden path. A proper trodden path. This must be the official Y Valley. Uh, so I'll, uh, I'm aiming for the Trigstone at the top of Murbach Hill, 
which is uh, nearly a thousand feet, I think, above sea level. Nice no, cool wind. Of course, you're going to get wind noise. There's the trick stone over there. I'll just uh, look for a spot here and have a, a short break. This looks this looks like an one of those uh, prehistoric hilltop encampments. There's the trick stone marking the summit. 316 meters above sea level Murdoch Hill. And they all put these in, uh, well, some time ago now, back in the Victorian days maybe. And they started um, doing detailed maps. And I think the idea was to establish heights of mountains. Now, yeah, yeah. probably the clear hills over there. And I uh, can't quite see the Black Mountains from this point because of these uh, hawthorn trees. Oh, so I'll go back there and uh, have a break with a view of the Black uh, Mountains. Okay, it's beautiful country here. Herefordshire, a Welsh border country. And uh, I'm on the Herefordshire junction of the Herefordshire Trail and the uh, the White Valley Trail here, so you can see the White Valley Trail is quite uh, strenuous. And uh, over in the distance there, of course, is the famous Hay Bluff. Uh, yeah, right over there, the Hay Bluff escarpment. Uh, goes up to a flat plateau, which is roughly, well, uh, nearly about 2,700 feet above sea level, I think. The Black Mountains. And, uh, yeah, yeah. So this is it. It's uh, all the work's done climbing up here. And there's the uh, farmhouses down in the valley. Okay, so yeah, okay. So I'll have a break here and then head towards Arthur's Stone. Yeah, the sun's still shining, so I'm after Arthur's Stone. And there are a couple of walkers I passed. Some information on Murbach, Murbach Hill. And uh, you are here. Yeah, so, um, yeah, this is the Herefordshire Trail I'm on here, I think. I think it skirts the, uh, skirts the boundary of this open land. Part of the walk is far better because you've got open views of the countryside. And this uh, uh, look, ancient uh, hawthorn tree, yeah, it's um, a week or so that will be out in full blossom. Another walker. Okay, so somewhere down here will be Arthur's Stone. It's a long road without a turning. So I'm quite I'm a bit of a, a bit of a distance from where I'm staying. So uh, a couple of hours, uh, I think, before I get back. There's the Black Mountains in the distance. In any cars so far on this road, very long road, though it's a long, seems like a wrong road because it doesn't have a turn in. But here's a bit of a road junction. It's, it's, but it's quite pleasant walking. The beach, huh. down there. turning in this uh, lane, which is, well, close to a mile, I think, in straight. I uh, haven't seen any cars. Okay, I'm coming up to the highlight of this walk. 
uh, Arthur's burial chamber, as it's called. Okay, there's, there's some information on it. It's over 5,000 years old, Neolithic, Neolithic chambered tomb. And, uh, of course, uh, uh, it's been linked to King Arthur since before the 13th century. Uh, uh, this, yeah, it's, um, the legendary King Arthur. The uh, capstone weighs 25 tons, so that was a, an achievement for a prehistoric man to, uh, that has some kind of a ceremonial significance, that separate stone. And of course all this would have been completely covered by Earth uh, the time it was built. And uh, yeah, that, that's, that's a good one. And claim to King Arthur's uh, burial though, uh, uh, by the uh, uh, but of course That claim is contested numerous in numerous places throughout the uh, uh, throughout the uh, the realm. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm going to say goodbye to uh, Arthur Stone, and uh, I'll take another chance. This this footpath here leads directly back to uh, uh, Breadwardine, and it looks it looks trodden. I'll take a chance and see what happens. Okay, uh, this looks like, uh, well I don't know, it looks like corn has been planted. Quite a large field of corn, which of course, why the, uh, all this area was contested by the Welsh, the English and the Normans. A rich, arable country. Okay, so here's the first style, but it uh, looks in pretty poor condition. Yeah, but, uh, the, Footpath seems clearly marked though as it carries on. Okay, another large field of I think it's corn, I'm not sure. Another decent style. And uh, yeah. And of course it's all slightly downhill, so that's easy walking. Another large cornfield, I believe. But um, now, see what happens now, because this will probably be the end of the cornfields, and uh, it's, it's been a very clear footpath so far. Okay, uh, yeah. Yes, this is excellent walking. Okay, yeah, this is a good footpath. So I descend down the edge of this wood, down to. Uh, where that house is, there's a lane that runs there. That's, uh, that would have been a steep ascent up that hill if I'd have taken this route to half a stone. Uh, those are nice uh, orchid, orchids, I think they are. And, okay, here's another style. So it means I'm on the right of way. So something's briefly come out again. with this phone app it tells you exactly where you are so I could locate that hidden style it looks like a cottage that's been done up uh, okay now uh, I'll see how uh, 
I still got some. Well, I got a, another fill path, fill path to get to where well, it goes exactly to where I'm staying. But uh, I've got a choice of, of there's two, three of the paths. I went went that way. I went the wrong way for and I upset the farm dogs. But here's the here's the gate hidden away. You can't see it from the track. But let's see. I'll just uh, well head in this direction. Okay. Yeah. So this uh, particular path doesn't look trodden, but uh, <laughs> no sign of any trodden footpath here. But. I think it goes down the edge of this wood. But I'm in no hurry, and it's all downhill. Uh, literally. Uh, and the sun's shining. I'm taking uh, quite a few videos, because this will probably be the last bit of sunshine. I think there's rain on the way, I can see. In the distance, looks like rain clouds. But look at the side. Look at that old oak tree there. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Yeah, it's a, yeah, been standing there for probably well over a hundred years, and it looks like it had a, a brethren here that has tumbled over. Yeah. Okay, so where I got. I'll locate off. Oh, yeah, I can see the next uh, footpath sign down there. So this is, uh, it's been a uh, good walk, eh? It's, uh, I upset the farmer's dogs, but uh, other than that, uh, it's uh, no problem. There's Bread Ward dying down there, uh, just a quarter of a mile away. And, uh, that uh, oak tree and uh, now I think there's a footpath marked on the map going down there but there's the old school house uh, which is right next door to where I'm staying and up there is the jackdaw colony just a few uh, just also right next to where I'm staying and there's bread dine See that house from where I'm staying, but I have gone too far and have to retrace my steps. It's so easy to do. There's uh, Bread Wardine Church right there. It's a very nice tree there. I think it's an oak tree. Yeah, yeah very tall. Now, huh, is this a footpath? Because there's where I'm staying, right there. Less than 100 yards away. Yeah, it's a footpath. So, uh, wasn't defined at all up there, but I guess the locals know about it. Okay, here's a nice little footbridge going across. I'll put my camera away in case I take a tumble. Okay, end of walk. That's, uh, this is where I started, well just, yeah, I just started here. Yeah, so, yeah, it's a successful walker. Yeah. Once you know, you're all right. There's the stream down there. Okay, home sweet home. <laughs> 